This week we welcome Inveramon Community High School from Livingston on their four day Sea Play Live experience of London and Manchester. Let's see how the teams line up. I think that would be a pretty good feeling. I'm used to having about one person scream my name, probably my mum. Yeah, what's been your favourite part of the stadium so far? Uh, I thought that the walking out in the tunnel and going to the see the full stadium was was great. So Cameron, what's been your favourite part of the so far? Probably getting towards around the stadiums. Both stadiums have been absolutely fantastic, and I just can't like separate which one's the best so far. So Scott, you're standing outside the iconic Emirates Stadium. How does that make you feel? Amazing. Uh, and it's good to see it for the first time, because I've seen it a few times on telly, but now I'm getting to see it for real. And does it live up to your expectations? Yeah. Miles from home, I've been waiting for this moment, willingly and sacrifice. Um, today we're having training with the Fulham Academy. I just got here. Now I have to cross that river wide. If I had the strength inside, but only make it half as easy. Hold me run. Hold me run. Hold me run. I'm here with Alan Miller of Fulham Football Club, who ran Inveramon's coaching session today. Alan, tell me a little bit how the kids got on and what you worked on today's session. Uh, the kids got on really well. Um, we started with some pass and receiving, worked mostly on um, transition stuff. Uh, at Fulham we create kind of a, a no-risk environment, so it's all about taking chances and making sure they take their opportunities and try to express themselves. Uh, I find once we get them away from the parents and the managers, kind of give them an opportunity to just try different things and push themselves out of the comfort zone. It's the best way that we try to... And that's the philosophy of Fulham anyway, to try to make sure that we have the kids enjoy the game, try to promote, you know, uh, the best possible performance from themselves, not driven by parents and coaches. There are only meters left, I can hear you when you whisper, give them what I just went through, I would do it all again for you. What were you looking for most, and that's still what you're looking for? Uh, I was quite looking forward to playing against the local opposition, but I also really enjoyed playing the five-a-side World Cup tournament as our team won. Yeah, we're up to now, playing well.
well. Uh, I've adopted the Shipton philosophy, which I've took directly from Hibs, just keep the ball on the ground, work through the sections. I think the boys are working really hard. This game's at least 2-0 up already, getting the ball, passing it well, getting the goals in. I've not actually seen that game, but I think they're doing really well. I hear Mr Jacob shouting loads at the side, so that's always a good sign. A nil nil draw there. Tell us a little bit about how it went. It was awesome. The kids were so fantastic. First 10 minutes, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. Absolute carnage. But they pulled themselves together. Obviously, they made some good tactical changes, which uh, I think resulted in a well deserved 1 1, uh, sorry, nil nil draw. Had a shot on the post. I think the kids are absolutely excited about it. So it was great. Because I'm not used to watching good football. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to watching punting it up the pitch and begging that striker has it and beat the defenders try and attempt to score at least. <laughs> Never mind put it in the net. Kids have been exemplary here. Um, I love the passion that they have for football. I love the fact that um, they put all they have into the training sessions and the, the, the matches that they do, the behaviour during stadium tours um, is exemplary. Um, I hope that the trips like this inspire the kids to go on with their football, whether that be at international level or maybe just playing for their school team, um, as long as they, as they put everything into it. So it's been very, very good and I hope that they feel the same about it.